Yo bros, welcome to another special video on my channel and finally this one is not the pack opening I know I've been doing too many of those but the thing is remember the struggle part of the glory in this last week the struggle was really hard I had to take care of getting to a new house but as you know I qualified for this weekend league for the last one and we did great this is not a video showing how I did I will save that for later but I will tell you this was my best ever better than any weekend league on fifa 17 and i have to give the credits to this tactic that i'm about to show you the tactic that your opponents will hate it's a fifa tactic it's not really a football tactic although you see this in real football a lot but this is the tactic that exploits the best fifa this was my first weekend league this year so it's normal my team is always under construction I think I used like three different teams during the weekend league, not complete teams, but I would change a couple of players or three players or this player will be underperforming. So when you see the gameplay, you'll see a lot of new faces from game to game. For example, I used to have Bruma and Timo Werner. Bruma was okay, but Timo Werner was a bit disappointing. So I, I brought in Gabriel Jesus, Gabriel Jesus, and guys, this guy there's a reason for his price to be so high, he's great, he saved me on some games. Of course we have the maestro Rui Costa, we did the prime icon SBC. This guy is amazing, it cost me about half a million coins, he's untradeable so I'm stuck with him. But because he's an icon, he's going to fit every team and he's fast, he's tall, he can dribble, he has physique, he has a great shot, he has amazing passing. So I'm happy to commit and I'm keeping this guy probably until the end of FIFA and whatever team I have around him, he will be useful, whatever tactic. So yeah, happy I did it. Before I did the SBC, I had a 85 Rui Costa and I had an 87 Deco. I liked the 85 Rui Costa better than I liked Deco. So I just knew I would like the 90 Rui Costa. He's amazing, he's not a game changer, he's not going to win you games by himself. It's not like he's the best player in the squad by far. There's people that perform really well even though they're just golds. Like ob obviously Jelson and Dumbia. Gabriel Jesus is amazing as well. Anyway, let's cut the crap. I'm going to explain you how this tactic works. So in this FIFA, or in the last one, you have to be fast, you have to pass a lot, you have to be narrow. The best way to describe this tactic is it's a counter-attacking monster. It's the fastest tactic I've ever used, it's amazing. And I have the fastest players for a reason. So the tactic I use is 4-1-2-1-2, but I use the narrow one, but for cam, reasons i have to start with this one but why don't i just start with the right tactic right the players won't really change position so i start like this and mid game i change to this the only difference is that sane and jelson will be center mid instead of left mid and right mid why don't i just use let's say fernandinho instead of sane and pizzi instead of jelson it's because of the speed let's take a look at the speed of my players gabriel jesus 87 speed, Dumbia 91, Jelson 94, Rui Costa 86, Sane 94 and those are my front 5. And how do I go from this tactic to my counter attacking monster? So the trick is in custom tactics and I will show you what I use exactly. So as you can see in your screen, here's my custom tactics and I will go over them and explain it to you. So speed is 8, but actually in the beginning of the weekend league I started with 90 and it's even more... It's explosive. What speed does, that your team when they have the ball they will move forward, they will try to create spaces. So with, uh, with something between 80 and 90 your team will move really fast. So basically you have the ball in defense, everyone will run forward and with two passes or three you can be alone on goal. And with your whole midfield running almost on 90 pace each, they will outrun everyone in their midfield. And then our strikers, they chose these ones for a reason, they're really sp speedy as well. Passing I set on 60, on this one it's not a good idea to go too far away from uh, 50 because what this does is the distance of the players to the player with the ball. So if, if you have it on 100 it will be ridiculous, it's like long balls everywhere, they won't, they won't try to get the ball near you, it will be like finding spaces really far away from you and that's really hard to, to do. Your, 
when you have the ball you will be alone, it will suck. And if it's below 50, your players will come to you to get the ball. So if you're playing possession, you should have this on 40, even 30. Because you're attacking, you want it on 60. So it's more than 50, but it's not too much. So when you have the ball, you can pass it short or you can pass it long, whatever is necessary. Position, I like it organized. I, I don't want my, my strikers to come to the midfield and my midfield will come to a striker position. Chance creation. So I have a high value for passing because this is how I want my goals to be. True balls. I want players to find spaces so I can pass to them. And normally I would set this to about 60, but because with this tactic, it's mostly true balls. I want so I want something high, so let's say 75. Playing a very narrow formation, so I don't really care about crossing, but it's good to have a little bit because if you're on the side of the area, your players will try to find a space for a cross, but you can just pass them on the ground. And then shooting, and players try to get in a good position to shoot. So when you have the ball on their area or near their area, your players will try to find a space where if you pass them, they can shoot straight away. I set this one to 80, but you can play around with this. You can have shooting on 70 and passing on 85. This is what I found better for myself. And positioning, I have freeform because on, on the chances, I want, if Rui Costa has some space on in front of him, I want him to go. I don't want him to respect the triangle then. But this is just for the chance creation, not for the build-up. It's very different and very important. And now this is where the trick really is. So normally as, as soon as the game starts, I go to defensive. If I find that the guy is good at attacking and keeping the ball, I go all the way to park the bus. When you park the bus, it's basically giving up of ball possession, right? It's just like everyone, everyone goes behind the ball. All your 11 is trying to defend and not attack. But if you set the pressure and aggression to a very high level, and again, I started this with 90 on it, which is crazy. I went down a little bit. 80 is a good value, but you can do higher, believe me. The thing is your players will be back, but as soon as the other guy has the ball, everyone who's around him will try to get the ball. So it's not like you're letting him have the ball. You have a lot of people on the fence, but they will be all crazy around the ball like like raging dogs. And then team width, I said to 40. This will make your left back and right back go a bit to the center. That's what you want. You want to create a lot of men in the center. It's really hard to shoot against me because from wherever you shoot, there will be a player between him and the goal, one of my players. All this, so park the bus, high pressure, high aggression and a low team width, this will make a, a lot of players in front of your goal. So believe me, it's really hard to score against me with this tactic. I'm not a great defender, but this tactic has helped me a lot. And then of course the defender line is set to cover. The offside trap should be set only when you want to, don't let the game decide that, so yeah. Defender line on cover. As for the player instructions, again, I'll go one by one. You want your strikers on get behind, so they find the space. When you have the ball, they will try to get behind their defensive line, so you can true ball, and they will be alone on goal. And then the defensive pressing, you want to press back line. So even when he has the ball in the defense, someone will be pressing them. Every time they have the ball, there will be someone there like a dog. These instructions are specially for Rui Costa. He is a mid-mid work rate, so that means that he's not going to stick in the front and it will come a bit back. So on defensive support, I do stay forward, so it doesn't help in defense, I don't need him, but he will be there anyway because of the park the bus. And interceptions, just because it's free Costa, I said it to conservative, so he doesn't really try to block passes, to run around too much when they have the ball. And this sounds like a bad thing, but what I want is when I get the ball, I have the front three ready to get the ball and triangle between them. Before I set this player instructions, Rui Costa will be a bit lost in the defense. And then when I got the ball, it will be just the two strikers on the counter attack. So yeah, this is especially for Rui Costa with other attacking mids, you might not need to do this. For your left and right mid, that will be center mids. I just leave them as they are, it's perfect. For the CDM, in my case, in my case it's Danilo Pereira. He is an amazing player, he's one of the best players in my team. He's so strong, he's a beast, he's super tall, but he's not the fastest. It's just 70 pace. So on attacking support, I leave it to stay back while attacking, because that way I'm not catch on a, caught on a counter-attack. And I attack so fast, that even if he was there, he wouldn't be helping too much, because he would just trying to reach the ball and then we either score or they get the ball and you'll have to run back. So better stay back. 
If I need to score, I will change this, but normally I have my left back and right back and stay back while attacking. And it's for obvious reasons. My attacks will be so quick, so fast, that there's no need for them to help out. They can stay back and that way, every time I lose the ball, I have loads of people behind anyway. But the really trick to this, it's after all these custom tactics and player instructions, is that your two center mids, which in my case it's Sané and Jelson, they are super fast, really high pace. So when I get the ball, believe me, when they run, they they want two between each other, they use Rui Costa to, for the one-twos and in no time they're like one of the strikers. You'll see on the gameplay I have really explosive counter-attacks like I've never had before. Some people will dislike this tactic, especially if you park the bus from the beginning, which I don't every game. I do that, I will say, about one-third of the game when in the first 10 minutes the guy seems much better than me or the guy is a super team packed with icons. In that occasion I will park the bus just to make sure that I don't concede first. And sometimes when the game is closed and I score I go park the bus. But if the game is tied, if I feel like the other guy is parking the bus as well, I will sometimes go to attacking or even ultra attacking. This works as well. Maybe you need to change some of the player instructions, but Believe me, this works. Either you go all attack or all defense, this works. This will be always be explosive. This will always be super fast. So yeah, guys, I revealed my secrets. This is my tactic. This tactic le led me to an amazing weekend league. I loved it. Outside of the weekend league, on divisions where I try stuff, I think with this tactic, I'm something like 15 wins and three losses, which is really good. But remember, you have to be flexible, this is very important. Maybe it's a good idea to change formations in game. Maybe if you really need to defend, you can bring an extra defender. If you need to attack, just leave three at the back. There's tons you can do. This is something just to start the games with. So many times I will change instructions, I will change custom tactics, I will change formations. And this is the key to success, adapt. So this is my starting point. I suggest you try it, why not? Let me know what you think, how you did. But anyway, enough talk, let's watch one of the games where I tried this tactic for the first time before the weekend league. So let's switch it to live to see you guys! Guys, what do you think about these kids? They're the ones from, you know, the SBCs, FC Japan and FC Korea. I like them a lot. Let's play against this guy, West Ham RTG, and I was expecting this, a full West Ham team. You can see the West Ham Stadium there. So I guess this guy is somewhere there, in one of those houses there. And we didn't even change the formation and we are ahead! Jelson, what a beautiful man! By the way, Deco so far, he just has missed two chances for me, really easy ones, he, haven't, he hasn't scored yet. What, is this another rage quit? Oh no! I paused it to change formation and now I'll have to pause it again. I will think that I'm a dick to keep pausing the game, but it's the whole point of the video, I can't just decide not to do it now. See how dangerous this is already? Ah, pace, pace, pace. Oh, that was nice. Uh, I, I'm really bad at speaking and being focused. This is why I don't record it normally in the commentary live. Oh, no! That's what I've been beautiful! See, the guy has the ball and look at my team, they're all back. There's no chance, he can't score. Done, I have the ball, counter-attack, boom, 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 everyone's running. I'm too fast. Of course, a lot of times this will happen. <laughs> Nothing. But, you get the ball straight back again and lose it again. See, there's no... What? 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 That's unfair. That cool. Oh man, that's actually bad. One shot, one goal, 100% accuracy. 
That kit is amazing. Dumbia, come on Dumbia, finish that, that's it. Run to the supporters, they deserve it. Hug them. Oh, this stadium. It's not good for hugging supporters. Didn't notice, I have to change stadium. Dumbia. Two sporting players scored. I should be wearing the sporting shirt. I didn't even comment, but here is the 3-0. This is what I like about this formation. There's no chance he's gonna score. Everyone's on the back, and then when you get, when I get the counter attack, there's so many spaces, there's so many players, there's rebounds. It's ugly football, maybe, but it's effective. Did you see it? I just, I did one pass and I just run, run, run. Amazing. That cool, okay. Expecting an amazing pass. Yeah, that was a great pass. And another tap in, 4 0. Dumbia again. I love this kit, look at that. I also have the Korea one, the red one, but it's not as nice. This is nicer, like. Just like the one I'm wearing, one side is lighter than the other. I like it. I think the guy is raging over there near the stadium in East London. We can only wave to him. Deco again. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, nearly. <laughs> what is that? He tried to head it with the back of his neck or something. Nice. Arnautovic. The guy loves this card. I can tell he plays better when he's using him. Maybe I should try this. Ooh, nice. Maybe I should try it. Looks decent. Very strong. Don't be afraid to adjust your tactics during the game. Change the formation. Don't go counter attack anymore. Maybe play possession, which is the opposite of what we're doing here. Just be flexible. You don't have to play this the whole game. I'm doing it just to demonstrate, but actually when I was playing seriously, I would, you know, stop being all on the defense. I would change formation sometimes to counter what he's using. I think it's part of success, it's to adapt to the game, to, to the other guy. Come on Deco, no, it's kind of weak. Should I have gone for Rui Costa guys, what do you think? Come on Deco, it's your chance, first goal, first goal with Deco, let's see celebration if he does something, nah he just does this, Deco first goal on the channel, sorry I'm watching the replay, nah nah, it's not really rewatchable, but at least scored for the first time and you can see it on the channel, that's it guys, game over, we won both games, no goals considered, which in this FIFA is something very nice I think, I hope you enjoyed the episode, Please, if you try this formation and tactic, please let me know. I would love to know how it will go for you guys. Also, I will tell you, you know, I will make a video about the Weekend League once it's done. But yeah, I will try this in the Weekend League. Hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.